Hey guys, my name is Jake Hancock. I'm with Hancock Claims Consultants. I am a field technician here in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, today what we're going to be doing is going over the inspection process from start to finish. So we're going to get a look at the pre-inspection, the inspection process itself, and then a little bit of the post-inspection. That way you guys can get a great idea of what we offer to our carriers uh, and what we expect out of our field techs. The pre-inspection process includes confirmation phone calls to insureds, public adjusters, sometimes roofers. Um, the reasoning behind that is to make sure that there has been a line of communication between our company as well as the carriers insured. That way everybody can be on the same page as far as who's going to be there, what time we're supposed to be there, as well as if there's any interior damages that we need to coordinate times with said insured. As far as the pre-inspection process goes, outside of confirmation phone calls or text messages, we need to just make sure that we document um, who we spoke to and what was said on our tablet. Um, that way there is a paper trail of communication. After the pre-inspection confirmation phone call or voicemail, as well as documentation on our tablet has been performed, then we can start the actual inspection process. Here at Hancock Claims, we provide exterior as well as interior inspections. During the introduction conversation with the insured, we wanna make sure that we communicate with them and ask them specifically, did you have interior leaks or was there interior leaks presented with this claim? Um, at that point, if they did have interior leaks, we would need to go inside and perform the interior inspection. Ms. Smith actually has interior damages, so we're actually gonna start there today. So let's go inside. So the interior inspection starts with a small conversation with the insured just to figure out where the damages are. Once we locate the damages, we're going to document with our tablet or cell phone the extent of the damages. We need to take measurements of the room as well as photographs from all four corners of the room. The main idea of us photographing and documenting these interior or exterior damages is to paint a picture for the desk adjuster that's never gonna be on site. We are the eyes and the ears of this claim from start to finish, and we have to gather all of the information, whether it be damage or no damage, so that the outside adjuster or desk adjuster can accurately and professionally adjust their claim. In most inspection processes, you're only gonna look at maybe one to two rooms. In other situations where there's catastrophic damages, we may be looking at three, four, sometimes up to seven or eight rooms. For example, when there's damage in a kitchen that may be open to a living room, we wanna make sure that we notate and diagram and measure the entire surface of the ceiling. When inspecting interior rooms, we wanna make sure we notate and measure any openings. Another example of interior inspection would be when dealing with bedrooms, we wanna make sure we photograph every corner of the bedroom. The reason of gathering all of the corners of every room that's affected is to make sure that we give the desk adjuster an idea of what the complete room looks like, not just a close up of the affected damaged area. Sometimes there's damage in the attic space and we need to access the attic and take photos. The photos that we take in the attic are the same as any other interior room. We wanna make sure we take overviews and close-ups as well as measurements of any punctures or any interior leaks that have come through the ceiling. At the end of the day, our process is all about getting the homeowner back to normal. We understand this is a very sensitive time and we're being welcomed into someone's home. We wanna make sure that we can give them a sense of security that they're getting accurate information for their inspection. The next part of the exterior inspection process we're gonna access the roof. Once I have safely accessed the roof, I'm gonna take about eight or 10 uh, crucial photos that include layer, pitch, shingle gauge, uh, soffit measurement, width of shingles and reveal of shingles, um, as well as if there's drip edge or any particular flashing. Outside of those main photos, what we wanna gather for the carrier is gonna be overviews of all the roofing facets. We wanna get close-ups, of the shingles, damage if there is any, whether that be test squares with hail or just chalked wind shingle, uh, damage shingles. Uh, what we're trying to do is gather the information for the carrier because nine times out of 10, they're not going to the house. We are their eyes on the roof. So we need to document, like I said, all of the close-ups, all of the overviews, anything that the carrier needs to adjust a claim, we're gonna photograph up on the roof as safe as possible. Obviously, we're here to inspect the roof and potentially inspect the inside of the home, 
but when there is a wind event or a cat event with hail, a lot of times there's gonna be additional damages on the ground level, which could include window screens, gutters, downspouts, fences, basically anything on the ground level of the home we're gonna take photos of and document whether there's damage or no damage, just to make sure that the carrier has what they need to inspect this claim. This is a very important part of the roofing process because we're helping these insureds get back to normal. The last part of the exterior inspection, after gathering all of the roof photos as well as the ground level photos, is to simply communicate with the insured that the inspection is done and that they can expect to hear from their insurance carrier in a few days. The post inspection process includes uploading all of our deliverables. Our photo form, our report, and our diagram are all of what we email to all of our insurance carriers. So once we gather all of our ground level photos, our roof photos, and potentially any interior photos, we are gonna upload all of that onto our tablet, and then we email everything to the insurance carrier. 